Day trading, keep it simple, my friends. Everyone laughs at me when I make these little videos about the three minute candlesticks and like, look at the RSI, you know, look at these simple indicators. Keep it real simple. Everyone's like, Patrick, it doesn't work like that. It's not that easy. You need to have a lot more indicators. You need to know what you're doing. It's just not as simple as you make it seem. Well, today I'm gonna show you guys again, another trade based off the same strategy that I've talked about here on the channel all the time with the VWAP, with the three minute chart, the support, the resistance, nothing is rocket science in this video it's very simple and that's exactly how i like to trade so locking in a nice profit again today with a very simple and easy trade i'm going to show you guys the live trade right here in this video so make sure you guys stay tuned yeah. what's going on guys patrick here this morning waking up a little late again i've been like doing a lot of activities and working out in sports so i've been trying to get a little bit extra sleep i'm not that worried about trading the market open especially with all the numbers this week so i've kind of just like hey i'll wake up if there's an opportunity that's an opportunity today i woke up i got on the computer and i saw like a couple of indicators like lining up perfectly and i'm like well ho oh, i gotta get in long and i gotta make a trade here and that's exactly what i did so let's get into the action here and show you guys what went down today locking in an easy breezy profit and well we'll dive into it all right so i've entered a trade right now live on the mnqs looking for a push up here above the 620s up to the 640 area again see if we can't push up 640s with my 614 entry here and right now at the 25s so looking for this to squeeze up 640 area here and see if we can't get a nice little hundred dollar move here on three contracts currently up 70 dollars looking for this to push above the 30s here and try to retest that 40 level you see right now on the cues the three minute chart looking beautiful for a push up here we're up to the 34s now up to the 40s here we go 42s apps oh my this is could not be working out any better. See if we can break through that 40 area now up to the 45s, 44s, 45s. Watching the 40s right now. Can we keep pushing over that to get to the 50s? Currently up. This is $150 on this trade. We got one contract left. See if we can push above this level here. We got the high on that candle right there being the 46s. So above 46s, we'll look for this to squeeze up some more here on the queues right now we got a gap in the chart from the 286s down here to this level so up to the 45s 46s can we get all the way up to the 50s now we should be able to get a breakout here through this little bull flag right here there we go up to the 50s now Let's see if we get a little bit higher into the 50s 51s put an order out there getting filled at 50s all right so i just showed you the trade here live trading on the iron beam app Let's talk about why I entered a little quick entering this trade. I literally woke up this morning, got on the computer, saw what was going on. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm seeing here, but let's talk about kind of why I entered and my overall trade plan for this trade. Buying three contracts, making $168 here. So the first things first, why did I enter the trade? You can see here on the queues, we got the push above the VWAP. We talk about this all the time, this push above the VWAP here. This is very bullish. I missed out on this move, the 281 push on the queues, but look what we got. We got the dots there on the line, dot, dot, dot. So from the VWAP, there's this deviation. Basically, I think it's a plus one or plus two from the VWAP. Yeah, like a plus two basically from the VWAP. And that's giving us a range as well, kind of a standard deviation off of the VWAP there on the queues. And you can see how we pushed up there. And at that point, we turned that into support. So we enter long. And boom, looking for that push to push up there above the high here on this candle. And you can see here on the chart, we have the gap down this morning from the 286s down there to 283s. Down here at the 280 level, ding, 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 touching that 280 level multiple times, holding support. And also the RSI kind of right in the middle as well. So the RSI not going into uh, consideration for this trade, but there's that push. It's still going. We're still pushing here. This looks like it could get up all the way to 284s today. But I think I'm going to take my profit because it was just that easy this morning. There it is up at the 60s now. Hey, if you guys enjoy these videos, do me one big favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? What should I do differently? What do you want to see here on the channel? Continuing to squeeze off of this move from the 640s up there to 660s. So I probably could have taken one more trade here on this little pullback here for that bull flag breakout. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of lock it in with only three trades or three contracts this morning. 
making $168 trading just three contracts in, out, and locking that profit in. And you can see basically buying right here for this breakout from the 620s back up there, 640s, now up there to 660s. Remember, guys, one thing that we got to focus on here is what is the overall trend doing, right? We're going up, 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 up. Look at how we're moving, right? We're getting these kind of pullbacks, then a big squeeze up, pullback, then a big squeeze up, pullback, big squeeze up, pullback. So seeing this pullback here was like exciting because I'm like, oh, this is great. You know, it's pulling back. This is exactly what we want to see especially with this overall trend right now. And you can see it almost like is perfectly, you know, these two candles, you get this little, the red candle, and then you get that next kind of engulfing green candle for the buyers coming in there for the bulls and then squeezing it up there. So all the way up there to 660s, that was kind of like my top target there for that trade and it worked out beautifully. I took profit a little early, but you know, I'm totally fine. Like I said, sometimes when you wake up in the morning and you get a trade like that, where you're just like in and out, taking profit, locking it in, you got to ask yourself, like, why make any more trades today? So we looked at the QQQ chart there. I showed you guys that chart. And this is the NQ, which is basically, you know, the same chart we looked at when we were looking at with the uh, futures. But if we go to the three minute chart here on the NQ, you can see beautifully just an overall trend trending higher here. I mean, it was just kind of spot on trend wise. The RSI, again, not really in a territory that's overbought or oversold. So not really having to worry about that. But you can see the VWAP here on the NQ being a little different than the QQs. And again, getting that VWAP, we reclaim the VWAP there. We and it's time to get long. So we get long right there at that 620 level, like I said. And look at that push up there all the way to the six, well, almost 70s now. Um, the high on that candle being 667. So. Nice little move up there off of the VWAP. Again, everything lining up. We got the VWAP. We got the overall trend. We're pushing up above resistance as well. I mean, everything, you know, there was that resistance at this candle here. So that 620 area turning into support. You can see earlier in the day, 620 this morning was resistance. So once we got above that as well here, again, we're looking for multiple indicators, multiple reasons to enter the trade. And we can see that we're squeezing higher. We got this overall trend, the RSI is not at an extreme. And then as well, having the VWAP, getting the VWAP reclaim, you know, everything just pretty much spot on there. And, you know, why would you, why would you do anything other than get long at this point? You know, at that, at that point, I'm like, why, why would you do anything other than get long when you see this setup here? And especially knowing, you know, kind of what we know here. What do we know? We know that the VWAP, man, that VWAP gets to reclaim, I would say, you know, 80 to 75% of the time, we're gonna get a push up. It might not be always, you know, a huge push up, but we're gonna get a push up when we get that reclaim of the VWAP. And that's exactly what we got. You can see now on the NQ, trying to push up to that dotted line, being the standard deviation off of the VWAP there. So again, the biggest thing, guys, is keeping it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't try to force the trades let the trades come to you, let them happen, right? That's exactly what we did here. I basically got on the computer. This kind of worked out perfectly because I literally got on the computer this morning. I saw what was going on with the VWAP. I got a little pullback, we got the overall trend. And then I was like, well, I better get long here because you know, I know that 75 to 80% of the time, you know, back testing that this setup with the three minute chart, getting the breakout, getting everything all lined up there, it's gonna go up. And that's exactly what we got. So locking in that profit this morning and walking away.